welcome back to Crazy Hank TV. We're doing another public service announcement today. And YouTube is trying to convince me to do two a week. And I'm saying, hey, look, I'm not a machine. I, you know, I can only do so much. So we're going to see how this works out. Maybe down the road we'll do two a week. But as of now, it's just going to be one public service announcement a week. Uh, today we're going to do it on wearing your mask. Now, hold on. Don't go all Karen and Ken on me. Uh, relax, see what I have to say first, because I'm not telling you you have to wear the mask. I'm going to try and convince you that you want to wear the mask. So it's it's your choice. See, that's what a lot of people are arguing, that they want it to be their choice. So here's, here's some ideas and some examples of why you'd want to wear a mask. Now, if you're young and, and you're like a teenage years and you have a lot of, you have bad acne. And I had bad acne growing up. It, it was really bad. I you had, had a face, face like a pepperoni pizza, right? Yes, thank you, Otter had a face like a pepperoni pizza. It was bad. I mean, I know I was like 13 or 14, my grandma would come over and goes, oh, you're so cute, you're so cute. Then she'd have two handfuls of pus. It was that bad. Can I get a towel over here? Can we get, can I get a wet one? This kid's got acne. Um, but it didn't stop her from squeezing my cheeks, but it was, it was bad. I mean, I just was one of those things where, you know, if I was a teenager right now, I would wish the pandemic would go on until my face cleared up. I mean, I'm, I'm not even joking because you know the ridicule you take? You know, look at this. If I put the mask on like this, you can't see my zits. You can't see my zits. I know you couldn't hear me with the mask on, but that's that's one benefit. So if you're younger, you know, that's perfect. Maybe you 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 can hide. You don't need to buy Clearasil or whatever the medicine is today that helps clear your acne. Also, lipstick. You don't have to buy lipstick. Save, think of the money you're saving on lips. Lipstick's not cheap. Lipstick is is expensive. Oh, or if you have a cold sore, like you know, a big old cold sore there. Oh, I, I got it covered up now. I cut, I, you know, I'm just wearing my mask. I decided, I decided I want to wear my mask. So you got that going for you. You also have shaving. I mean, I don't know. I, I could be wrong, but I hate shaving. It, it, I just, I don't think it's fair. You know, you have your, when you, I, I started losing my hair, I, my hair is gone, but I still have to shave. I have ear hair now. If I had my choice, now if they said, okay, what do you want? Do you want, you want your beard to grow? Do you want your hair to, on top of your head to keep growing? Or do you want ear hair? I'm pretty sure I wouldn't choose ear hair or a beard. And I think most I think most bald people would agree with me that, hey, I want my hair on top of my head. Just forget the shaving. I hate shaving. I can't stand it. I mean, I hate to get off topic here. But again, if I had my choice, I don't want to shave. So again, you can cover your, you don't have to shave for two or three days. So that's a plus. Then you also have that awkward encounter, you know, where you, you run into people like in, like the grocery store and stuff, and it's always that person you don't want to talk to. Yeah, like this guy. And it's just like, and it doesn't matter when you go, what time you go, what day of the week you go. That person always seems to be there. You try going down a different aisle. You try, you know, you try to avoid them whenever possible. Now you have an excuse. I didn't see you. I didn't recognize you with your mask on. I didn't see you. So, and you know, it's, and it, it, so you got that going for you. That's a plus. And I think the last thing, the last thing that's is probably the most exciting part of the whole thing is like, you can get me like a double chin. Now you can't see it. You can't see my double chin. I don't have to work out. It's perfect. I, it, this Wearing a mask is perfect. And if you probably think about it, there's probably a hundred reasons you could think of, of why you should wear a mask, why you would want to wear a mask. And it's not the government telling you to wear the mask. It's you, you are deciding that you want to wear the mask. So there you go, just some examples of why you should wear the mask. And hopefully this helps, and hopefully this, you know, we can end this pandemic, except for the teenagers that want to keep their face covered for about seven years. But other than that, let's, let's work together. Work together, people. There you go. That's my public service announcement for this week. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye.